Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Trapper J Outdoors is sponsored by Dude Traps, Wildlife Management Equipment, and Dunlap Lures. Results matter. <laughs> That's a nice one. Shine it, hold that up here. Yeah. It's a nice blue right First there. cast. First cast. I'm like, I'm not she goes, gonna. She goes, That's a bad cast. <laughs> it was a bad cast for sure. You guys didn't get to see the cast. It was like horrible. She might as well just flipped it over the boat. And I did. Nice. Um, we're gonna empty this cooler out and just put them in there. I'm trying to get rigged up here. We're just getting started. We're out in the old SS butt crack out on the pond here. And we're going to do a bluegill catching cut. And there it is. Hold him up here. Sideways. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ow! Ah, he just beat the crap out of her. Ow. He's poking me. I don't know. Woman down. Ow! Just put your hand on him. Hold him down. I can't. I can't. Put your hand on I him. Hold him. <laughs> okay, well, that's He's the end dying. of that. <laughs> He's there. He's in the boat. That's all that matters, right? He stabbed me like five times. Alright, get your pole back out there. Give me time to... I might not even be able to fish. I might just be able to record. Well, after you catch a couple with the worm, we're going to switch over to all this uh, uh, spider monkey stuff. Spider monkey? Mm-hmm. Nice. Fish number one in the boat. Okay guys, I am going to throw on some spider monkey lures here and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try white first. I got several different colors here. Really bright. Really bright, different sizes. I kind of like that one. I might actually go. Let me just do with this one first. Two inch willow monkey. Moon glow. I'm going to flip that guy out there and see if I can't bring one couple in. I am no professional bluegill fisherman. I just fish with uh, worms mostly as a kid. And that's where I still do. Because it's fun. Just a regular old old school bobber. Someone's going to say something about it. Hang on. Get water in here. Someone's going to mention my bobber out there floating, but who cares? Just to have fun. <laughs> There's the spider monkey jig right there. We're going to see if I can't pick something up out here. I am really not very good at finesse fishing, so I, you, everyone sees me. I just use, I pretty much just pound them with a spinnerbait. I'm just going to run that through here. I know they're in there. Pound them with a spinnerbait, that's what I do. Got one. All right. Hell yeah. Let's see. Take this. I got one. She's got one and I got, mine's here. Oh no. You get yours up here and I'll get mine in. Oh no, we're still struggling here. Here. You got yours in? Here's mine. Bring it. Put the camera down this way. I got a bass. Uh-uh. <laughs> I got a bass. On the old spider monkey. You. Here, while you're at it, take this one off. Okay. Spider monkey. First cast bass. <laughs> now we're over here on the old night crawler. Nice bluegill right there. Hang on. That chungus. As Flair would say, it's a nice bluegill. It's a little bit smaller though than the other one you got. Close it. Sweet. Good job. You might want to fix your worm. Oh, it's a little one. We got another bass here. Spider monkey jig. 
Check it out. We'll take them. It's fun. I'm, on, I'm using a really ultra light. I'm using the Placino Kids Fishing Bowl here. We're just we're just tossing and jigging. Uh -oh. Good. Yeah. Oh. You gotta catch a bass too at some point on your worm. She got a bite. She got a bite. Oh, she's taking off. She got something good. Don't let him break it. Something real good on there. There's a bass. Just, oh my God. Hurry up. Lift it over. Lift it over. Monster. Lift it over. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that thing. Jeez. I'm not taking that thing off. It swallowed it. Holy. <laughs> That's probably the biggest bluegill. <laughs> Holy crap. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> Oh my God. Take that thing off, here. Look at the size of that toad. I'm scared of it. <laughs> here. It's too big. I think he's gonna keep the hook with him. Oh my God, that's a toad right there. <laughs> I was like, this thing's fighting. I thought I had a bass for sure. I sure wish I had my pliers with me. I do got this thing. Let's try this piece of shit out and see what happens. That's a monster. I've never. Pretty much just put it down there and cook it somewhere else. He's gonna break it? Yeah. That is crazy. Look at this bluegill. How thick he is. That is a thick bluegill right there. Wow. Oh yeah. Bluegill coming in hot on the jig. The orange is working so far. Old spider monkey. Lance sent me these, Lance Rosen Cranes. This one's kind of small, we'll probably toss him back, but it's still a nice blue, you know, really. Oops, sorry. It was actually a pretty one. How many of you have, uh, how many of you have ran off and forgot a bobber? This is going to be my bobber. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to cast this bitch out there. Let's see if I can get a fish. Uh, I don't know if my ultralight can handle this, but we're going to do it anyway. Probably snap it on. YOLO! <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to set the hook on that sucker, though. But we're going to see. The wind's blowing it real nice. Didn't take one. You got one. No. I got one already. No, uh. I got one already. No, uh. <laughs> what the? <laughs> there nice. it is! Back there it is! Off. On the Dr. Pepper bottle. You're welcome for my Boom! Right off the bat, sucker. Uh, my Dr. Pepper um, came in. I don't know if you guys could see that out there. <laughs> but that that uh, bottle was going crazy in the breeze. Pretty good action that just had. That was awesome. <laughs> what the heck just happened? Trying to get my worm back from him so I don't have to get another one. Going in the cooler. That was insane. To see the bobber was blowing all over the place. That fish's like, oh, can't handle that. I gotta go after that. Another bluegill. Nice. Bluegill on the old bottle. Look at the bottle. Let's see if it's in the camera there. Yeah, it is. There's the bluegill. It's a nice bluegill. What you got there? Oh, another big one. Look at the half sunfish there. Jeez, I think it's shit over. I ain't even really watched it though for a while. Whoa, he just peed all the way over onto me. Jesus. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything. Hold him up. Can I hold him by the mouth? Yep. Oh, Heck yeah, it's a nice one. All right, toss him in here. In with the wrist. Definitely. In with the wrist you go. He definitely is. Oh. And he did not go in. Ouch. 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 Everywhere. Ouch. Now I'm bleeding. There and there and there. Yeah, yeah. Bastard. 
What you gonna have this time? Jeez. Took her under. Another nice bluegill. Dang. Ow, fucker. Hold it up. Yeah. Nice. Hand it to me this time, because the last time he beat me up. <laughs> yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Stab me. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Ah, we're having struggles out here, people. Got something big? I must. Jesus. He is biting pretty good. He's pretty good size. <laughs> he's pretty good size, for sure. Sweet. Hold him up here. That's another nice one right there. Good job. Oh my Jesus, get him over the boat. Ew. God, hold turn him back here. Oh shit. God. That's another thick one. Peeing a lot. We're just cruising along the edge here and she's casting out in the middle. I'm not getting any footage I right now. Turn around here. Look at the size of that thing. He's huge. Little biggies. <laughs> I can't get it right now. How bad the hook? Like I down know. deep? Oh, yeah. Here. Look at that thing. Right. Well, that's it for today. Actually, no, it's not. Hold up. Stay tuned. We'll start off with these guys, they're already expired, so. Let's go right along the spine there. I'm really good at going too deep. I'm cutting out the other side. I'll debone the I'll, I'll cut out the ribs later. One. Put that in the garden, probably. Look at this big dog here. That is a big bluegill.
cool. Put all this in the flower bed. And uh, not the flower bed, but the garden fertilizer. And I'll get these rinsed up and, and probably tomorrow we'll cook them up. Stay tuned. Well, I just videoed for like uh, 10 minutes getting this all ready. And then I just realized I wasn't even recording. How many times have I done that? I wonder. All right. Well, take two, I guess. The bluegill. The little fillets. Floured, I use flour and duck seasoning. Got the oil going. I I guess I'm doing this all in reverse now since I've already done all this once, but you guys weren't here. I got the uh, sternal stove, little sternal can, heating my oil. I'm in the trapping garage. I've been uh, messing with some hags brackets in here. Got all the Dunlap lures and stuff in here. I'm working on the motorcycle at the moment. Put a battery in. I want to get one of those fold up fishing poles and put it in the, in the bag and go do some videos on the road. Traps up. Uh, a lot of you might not have seen the garage if you don't come to the live streams. This is uh, the trapping garage and there's my antler light I built. Still in the process of adding antlers to it, but it's a start. There's a pile back there. I'm getting all my dog fish ready. I'm gonna do a video getting dog fish ready for the season. Man, it was much better the first time I told the story. But we're in here cooking bluegill in the trapping garage like you would out on the beach with sterno stove so it's probably been going like three or four minutes now <clears throat> probably go grab some chips for the sides and i gotta go grab something to pull my fish back out with all right it's just coming to a boil i'm gonna drop a couple in some videos while I'm doing my uh, skinning and stuff in here where I can cook and, and skin critters and whatnot. I need to get me a burner to put in here. It'd be kind of cool. Pretty dang good. Any fresh cut fish is awesome. Let me know what you guys think of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Bluegill in the Trapping Garage.